on, so today we're going to talk about bacterial transformation. Bacterial transformation is needed for the cell's survival and also for the DNA to be able to replicate. There are four main steps in bacterial transformation. First is the preparation of competent cells, transformation, recovery period, and cell plating. So the first process in bacterial transformation is the preparation of the competent cell. In this process, one single fresh colony is taken from a DNA plasmid or the desired strain and replace it with another strain that was taken from the bacteria. In this picture, we can take E. coli or the whole cell as an example of a bacteria and the recombinant plasmid as the DNA. In order to form a transformed cell, the recombinant plasmid is joined or mixed with the E. coli or host cell. Transformation, we have the two most popular methods, which is in heat shock and electroporation. So first, we have heat shock. In heat shock, the DNA plasmid mixed with the competent cell is being exposed briefly to an elevated temperature. Whereas in electroporation, we use an electroporator, which induces and allows DNA entry into the cell. So after heat shock and electroporation, the next process would be the recovery period. In this process, the cells are being cultured in an antibiotic-free-like medium. It also helps improve the cell's viability and cloning efficiency. So the last process in bacterial transformation is cell plating. So in this process, the cells grow under control conditions. After the cell of interest have been isolated from living tissue, they can be maintained through controlled conditions.